Hey guys, does it matter what a real estate agent drives? I think it does. <laughs> What I drive may be a little bit different than what I would recommend an agent in LA drives or in New York if they're even driving or if they're just getting dropped off in a limousine. I live in a rural area. Here, being in a rural area, I do think that it's important not to necessarily show up in a Lamborghini or you know something that's going to make your client feel like you're being paid too much. So here, we're in a 2017 Honda CRV. Whenever I first got started, I, I always drove 20 plus year old vehicles. I used to buy them, fix them up, and resell them. That's actually what I did before I was a real estate broker. I felt that especially as a 21 year old kid driving a 20 year old Honda Civic, I needed something a little bit better. At that time, my girlfriend had like a 2014 Hyundai something or other, and every time I met with a client, that's what I drove. I do feel like there is a level of confidence that you should have and there's a level of professionalism that you should be able to portray. And driving a newer vehicle is, in my personal opinion, something that's necessary. There's a step of taking that too far. I've thought about buying, if I bought my dream car, like a Lamborghini, would I ever show up in an appointment with that? Even in my 370Z, I, I don't show up to appointments in that there if you're at, sitting at if you're sitting at a kitchen table working towards getting a listing sitting with some sellers and you're talking about your six percent commission and they're like you make you're gonna make you know 12 grand on this you know the fact that you pulled up in a lamborghini probably doesn't help also your demographic now if i'm pulling up to uh, a two hundred thousand dollar house and i pull up in a two hundred thousand dollar lamborghini or even a uh, $100,000 7 Series BMW or something, your demographic that you're working with may feel uncomfortable or you may not relate as well with them. While I do drive a newer vehicle, I drive a very economical vehicle that is, you know, within the means of, of most. You know, it isn't anything too extravagant. So sure, Anthony shows up in a professional vehicle. It's always well maintained. It's nice and clean. I, I think that it's important to always have your car vacuumed if you're going to be having clients, you know, in it with you. Or, uh, you know, I always run it through a car wash too, especially if I'm meeting clients for the first time. I just, that's something that I feel like is important. Presentation. That's also why I wear slacks and a button up, you know, and I don't show up in a you know, a Carhartt jacket and some Romeos like a lot of agents, especially in my my market, do. Some reasons why I chose the Honda CRV. So I did a lot of research into different vehicles. Honda, I've always drove Hondas. And even if you went with the Honda CRV, a uh, Toyota RAV4, um, even a Subaru Crosstrek, or if you went even with like a Chevy Tahoe or something like that. Why I chose the Honda CRV is because they hold their value so well. That's something that I've always experienced with Hondas. Um, and they run forever. I mean, I drove 20 year old Honda Civics that had 300,000 miles on them and they were still kicking just fine. So it's a brand that I trust in. And really, if you live in more of a luxury market, if you're working with $500,000 million homes, maybe you want to go with a Audi A7 or something like that. That's more uh, based towards you know that that kind of market you want to blend with your market i feel like versatility is a very huge part of picking out your car as a real estate broker what you're going to use for business you know this isn't huge 
But if I have a family or you know a couple that wants to go to our properties that's from out of area and our in our area we have a lot of buyers come up from California that are retiring here. We're we're a large uh, retirement community, so I have a lot of people come from out of state. A lot of times they don't really know the area, so having enough room to where they can hop in, not a two seater 370Z, um, it is something that's really important. I, I chose this vehicle because it's all wheel drive. I've ran into plenty of agents that couldn't show the property or had to have their clients pick them up to take them, uh, you know, up the mountain to show the cabin. You know, in, in my area, having all wheel drive is very important. We don't get a lot of snow, but if you're in a market that gets a lot of snow, or if you'll be showing, you know, uh, properties with acreage, you're not gonna be wanting to do that in your rear wheel drive, you know, three series BMW. Being able to not only take signs, and clients, but also being able to get where you need to go. I've drove this thing through a foot of snow. I've drove it through, you know, <laughs> for, you know, big ruts and potholes, and it can basically get me anywhere that I need to go within, you know, my my duties as a real estate agent. I still have some tools here that I honestly I didn't even know I had. So like I have, I still have heated seats. I still have a backup camera, touch screen, you know, Bluetooth that's automatic. It actually has, uh, you know, it has driving assist and automated cruise control. So it stays in the lanes, it adapts to, you know, the people in front of you. So it has a lot of safety features and a lot of just comfort features that to me, I actually didn't even expect a Honda to have. So a few things that I was looking at to take into consideration, um, all wheel drive, the ability to fit a couple clients, ability to fit for sale signs, and overall versatility of the vehicle. So this has a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. It gets 27 miles to the gallon in town or something like that. So it does really well, does not lack power at all, and it's all in this you know comfortable compact package. Think about how much you drive as a real estate broker. There's some days I have hours of driving in before I go home for the day. I mean, from one end of the county to the next, uh, as a real estate broker, you do a lot of driving. That would be a reason why I have looked at a more compact SUV rather than say like a Chevy Tahoe that's a couple years old, still has great appearance, has even more room, couple rows of seats, Well, but you also have a little bit less on the gas mileage side, which I think is very important. Now, if I was driving this thing over here, I would not be able to fit a sign in there. If you look here, there's plenty of room. So I think it's super important to have cargo space. You don't wanna be relying on somebody else to stick in a sign last minute. You should be able to do everything from your vehicle. The more versatile, the better. If you look here, sure, I got some of my little directionals in here. I got my whole realtor like safety kit back here, whatever. But if you pull these handles, boom, boom. Now all of a sudden I got, you know, I've hauled plywood and 10 foot two by fours and all kinds of crazy stuff in here. Most, you know, important would be being able to throw a for sale sign back here. Obviously plenty of room. All right, so here you can see a full grown man, uh, somewhat, I'm like 5'8", um, can lay like fully back here and still have extra room. We still got, we still got a little bit of room here. I could live back here. This is a one and done, you know what I mean? Let me, let me go ahead and put this on so if I press this button right here it's supposed to keep it in the lanes and I can actually put it on whatever so let's see if we can get this thing going uh, by itself it's actually really good if we get it on the freeway then you can actually see it like staying in the lanes because it's not gonna do it right here at this low speed so we should do that I think I'm gonna do that are you ready for me to do that wouldn't that be cool for me to do that I'm gonna do that all right you guys ready to feel this power <laughs> Yeah, that's 60. That was 60. All right, it wasn't actually, it was 45, but zero to 60 in 
couple seconds. Couldn't even keep track of how many seconds because it's so little amount. Microseconds. All right, I'm talking full speed. I'm taking off econ mode. coming in let's take our first caller hey what's up uh you called me so i'm calling back <laughs> don't yeah. tell me what's up you started it uh, yeah anyway i was calling you to demonstrate the features of the vehicle so thank you for returning my call that made it really easy as you guys could see i could just touch this button right here boom answered she's <laughs> over live Sounds good. How do I sound on the other end here? How's the Bluetooth onboarding system, system in your opinion? Oh, it's awful. I can barely hear you. What was that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, Look, bye. I can hang up on her with this press of a button. <laughs> and she's gone. That easy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys come up with any other ideas that you would like me to talk about. Um, and most importantly, don't forget to comment below and let me know if you're a real estate agent. I want to know what you drive and why you drive it. So look forward to seeing you guys on the next one and talk to you soon. Woo!